Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yer and today I'm going to share with you my jewelry collection. We're going to start off first with the um, with the brand Tiffany & Co and then other brands and then um, towards the end of the video I'm going to show you how I store my jewelry. Okay, let's start off with necklaces. I'm not going to put any of my jewelry in particular order. I'm just going to grab it and then um, kind of talk about it. So then this one right here is the um, key pendant that, that I got. And it's super cute. And then on the bottom here, it says Tiffany and Co. T and Co. And yeah, so it's super cute. I real I um I enjoy little dainty necklaces. So a lot of my necklaces are very dainty. So there's that first one. Okay, the second necklace I'm gonna show you is the Tiffany bow necklace. And this one's super cute. Um, this one's not as dainty as my other necklaces, but I really do like rib um ribbons and I do like bows so then I thought this was super cute and um I enjoy wearing this when I want to feel a little girly or if I want to look like cute. <laughs> so this is the necklace I would wear and I do have the matching earring I'll show you later here. So so the third necklace I have here is the double hearted um pendant and this one just has the regular um not regular but plain sterling silver heart i know you can get it in different colors like red blue the tiffany blue um pink but i just wanted it to be simple and um this was actually one of my first necklace that i got from tiffany and co and i used to wear this like every single day and um i do still like it but i'm i like the the key um, pendant a little more. I don't know why, but this one's still very cute too. And I used to love wearing this one. Okay, so this necklace is the heart necklace. And this one's a lot bigger than the mini um, pendant. I'm going to show you here. It's not as dainty, but still very cute. I got this one in San Fran when my husband and I went on our mini moon to San Fran. And we got it from the Tiffany & Co there. So this one's really, I think this is my newest um necklace that I have in my collection too actually so. so I only have one bracelet from Tiffany and Co and it is this cutie right here and it is the beaded um pendant heart pendant that just says return to Tiffany and Co as you can tell I really like heart um shaped items from Tiffany and Co and I just like very cute dinky things so I thought this one was super cute I do eventually want to get the ribbon one as well, but I don't really wear my bracelet, so there's really no need to get it right away. Um, so yeah, so whenever I want to wear a bracelet, this is the one I would um, just wear because this is the only one I have. <laughs> I only have one item also from um, Tiffany & Co. that is earrings, and it is the bow earrings. Aren't they so cute? Sometimes I'll wear this with um, the bow necklace. Or sometimes I'll just wear it with other um, necklaces, um, with other necklaces that I have from Tiffany and Co. And I think it's very cute. It's very dainty. So there's that. The last two items I'm gonna share with you from Tiffany and Co. is my engagement ring and also my wedding band. So let's take a look at my engagement ring. So my engagement ring is the Tiffany setting. I'm gonna share with you each angle if I can here. And just for reference, I am a size 4 um, in ring size. So yeah, so this is super cute. Um, I have a quick story to tell you. My husband and I, during that time when we were dating, um, he wanted to know what kind of ring I like. So we just went into like um, Tiffany & Co. And during that time, I really liked the princess cut. And I was like, I want a princess cut ring. So then I told him he can either pick the princess cut or he can either pick the um, Tiffany setting. And when he proposed to me, he picked out the Tiffany setting and I'm so excited and so happy that he did because the um, Tiffany setting is such a classic um, piece that will never go out of style. So the last piece I'm going to share with you is my wedding band and that is the Tiffany Harmony. So I decided on the Tiffany Harmony because um, my husband picked out the um the tiffany setting so i was like do i want to go the traditional route of getting um just like a typical wedding band or should i go with something different and then i decided to go with um the harmony because it's not the band isn't really thick but then i like how there's like that little 
crease right here where uh, my diamond can fit into it to make it look like it's molded together if that makes sense um i'll show you here so if it's together then can you see how it's like kind of molded together and i like how um it because my fingers are already so small and tiny um i felt like the other wedding bands like they were just a little too thick for my liking to um to match my engagement ring so i decided on the the harmony to um, go with my setting and I'm so happy that I did because I love um, the combo when it's together. Okay, so that was all for my Tiffany & Co jewelry pieces. Now let's go to the other items in my jewelry collection and the first one I want to share with you is my 24k gold necklace that my parents got for me. I received this item when I was in elementary school and this is one of the pieces that's so um, sentimental to me, um, especially because growing up we didn't have a lot, but my mom and dad, they were able to um, buy something like this during that time that was so expensive um, to give to me. And I just love it so much. Eventually I do hope to give it to my, um, my own ch um, children one day so then they can also wear it too. So one of the necklaces that I have in my collection here is um, this bar, silver bar necklace and it says my husband and my dating anniversary and then when you flip it to the back it says my um, it says year me which is my husband and my name put together so my name is year and my husband name is Jeremy so when we add it together it makes year me so we were known as the year me couple in um, college for some. I have two watches in my collection and the first one is from Kate Spade. So this is how it looks like. <laughs> and um, I really like this watch because the face is really small. If um, I don't know if you can tell, but my wrist is super, super small. The next watch is um, a watch that my parents got for me when I was um, in elementary school. And it is this um, Citizen Quartz small gold plated um watch like my other gold necklace that my parents got for me it's really sentimental so i don't i don't wear this as often anymore um as you can see i do i do gravitate towards um sterling silver more um and i don't want to wear things that are so important and important and meaningful to me not saying that the other things aren't meaningful to me but something like what my parents gave me i really want to cherish it and i want to make sure that i keep it pristine so i try not to wear it as often because like i said earlier i do want to um give these as gifts to my um to my children one day um to pass it down to them so that's my second watch in my jewelry collection so the last item I'm going to share with you is my promise ring that my husband got for us or for me um, for our for our one year anniversary. Um, this promise ring is really meaningful to me. I know I said meaningful throughout the whole video, but this one's like holds a very special place in my heart because um, we were only dating for one year and he um, has already gotten me a ring. And this, So this is how it looks like was able to get me a, a promise ring even though we were broke college students didn't have a lot of money and I was just so thankful during that time that he was able to just like save some money and to buy me something like this um in college you know and if you have come this far thank you so much again um for watching my video and now I'm, I'm gonna share with you how I um store my jewelry so this is how I store my jewelry. Um, I put it in this acrylic box that I got from YesStyle. I do want to let you know that I had to get the acrylic box separate from the two um, compartments here. So this one's the necklace, um, necklace holder. And then this one is the six compartment divider. Don't quote me on it, but I'll make sure to link it down below. And it's really, um, this one is the flip. It has like a flip um, opening at the top which I like, but then you can all you can also grab your necklaces or jewelry from the from like this, but I usually just open it like this. Um, so let's look at um, how I, I organize my jewelry. So I put the earrings here. I put my um, promise ring here, my Tiffany bracelet, and then my watches. 
And then here is where I store my um, necklaces. And I love how I was able to organize my necklaces by putting on this little necklace holder. Um, this is great because I like how it doesn't tingle up. I'm able to look at um, each of the necklaces and be like, yep, that's the one I want to wear today and just take it off. And then when I'm, when I'm done wearing it, I can just put it back in. And it's very easy for me to find my jewelry in the morning when I want to wear jewelry. So it's pretty neat. So let's go over here. And this is where I put my engagement ring and my um and my wedding band. So then I put my engagement ring and my Tiffany and Co. Um, ring box. It's a little dirty, sorry. But there's that. And then I have here this little cute cutout dish that I got from, I think I got this from, let's see, TJ Maxx. And it's by the brand Natural Life. And it just says, love you to the moon and back. So sometimes I'll, I, I didn't want to squeeze it, you know, together in the jewelry um, and the ring box. So then I, I just decided to put it here so I don't lose it. I think that's super cute together there. So yeah, so that's um, my, that's how I store my jewelry. I hope this helped you think of how you can, you can organize and how you can store your jewelry. And I want to thank you again for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I hope you have a nice day. See you in the next video. Bye.